Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show. Checking the Pulse of Esker Nation, brought to you by DPS Concrete Construction. Check them out at dpsconstruction.net. This is my gut reaction to our new athletic director here at the University of Nebraska, Troy Dannon's introductory press conference. Now, if you haven't done so yet, first of all, how dare you? Smash that subscribe button. But even more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to officially welcome Troy Dannon, to Nebraska, someone who genuinely seems excited to be here. And I'm going to dive more into this in a minute. And I don't know. I don't have insider information. I exchanged a text with uh, Mr. Dan in this morning. But I get the feeling from him, just the feeling I get, it's like, finally, I'm where I want to be. Or I'm at a place that I want to be at. That's just the impression I get. But I'll get more into that in a minute. If you want to welcome officially Troy Dan at the University of Nebraska, a place he genuinely seems excited to be at, which makes me excited even more than I already was to have him here, smash that like button. Now, real quick, to start off the press conference, all right, interim president, a lifelong Nebraskan himself, Chris Kaborik, thanked everyone who helped and supported him throughout this process of finding our new athletic director. All right, he specifically thanked Dennis LeBlanc as well. Now, if you think about it, I want to thank Dennis too. Okay, because if you think about it, how many people knew about Dennis LeBlanc outside of the athletes and coaches themselves for over four decades doing nothing but helping athletes, doing a great job behind the scenes, relatively unknown. Okay, it's not a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, Dennis, would you like to be the interim athletic director? Absolutely. Hop to it. Didn't hesitate. I had the chance to interview him last week on my YouTube channel. Go back and check out that interview if you missed it. One of my favorite interviews ever. And then Troy Danning gets hired as a new athletic director. And the first thing Dennis does, he tries to introduce him to everybody, show him the ropes, like just selflessly doing everything he can to help the university. So I want to thank Dennis LeBlanc for over four decades of helping student athletes, keeping me on the straight and narrow, which wasn't always that easy, especially when I had no idea what I wanted to do. Uh, and I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up, but I got Peter Pan syndrome. I'll get there someday. So I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Dennis for what he's done for over four decades. Also stepping up when this university needed someone to step in as an interim athletic director. So thank you, Dennis LeBlanc. The Board of Regents, all right, Chris said, gave him full authority to move quickly and decisively in hiring our new athletic director. Okay, Chris wanted someone who wants to wear red, who wants to wear the red N, and be a Nebraskan himself and become one and be a partner for Coach Rule and step in Big Ten rooms, Big Ten meetings, and be able to make an immediate impact and have a presence. All right, now, this was expressed a few times throughout this process, but Kaborik, um mentioned it again. There was a lot of interest in the job the AD job here at the University of Nebraska from across the country. There was lots of options, lots of interest. And that told Kaborik that Nebraska is still a big-time power player. All right. Now, Chris and Troy Dannon. Now, Chris said it was 4 a.m. Troy later on said hey, it was actually exactly 3.51 a.m. Reached an agreement to make Troy Dannon the new athletic director Okay, here at the University of Nebraska a few days ago. Immediately that day, because Chris was like, well, when do you want to start? And Troy's like, I'm starting today. Immediately that day, he started going around and meeting people. He met with the football team. He flew across the country, watched the basketball teams, the men's and women's in their respective NCAA tournaments. Then he flew back. He watched Nebraska baseball, Nebraska softball. Okay, he got to work immediately. And I love that. All right, now, you probably know this, but Troy Dannon has Midwest ties and a work ethic that I think Chris was looking for. And his new athletic director, his next athletic director, but a work ethic that Nebraska's currently have, Nebraskans currently have, and they want in their leaders as well. Now, Troy Dannon, okay, he was only, now you got to keep in mind, I was born in Hastings, Nebraska, lived there till I was three. My dad's job took my family up to the state of Washington. So I grew up in the state of Washington, two hours from Pullman, where Washington State is, Wazoo, and four hours from UW, the University of Washington in Seattle. So I know a lot of people still up there, and I, I spoke with them. Okay. And so kind of the overwhelming feedback that I heard from folks that I know up there is that, well, Troy's family had never quite, had never moved up to Washington in the five or six months that he was there. Okay. And they weren't entirely shocked and they were happy for him. Not, you know, they wanted their AD to stay, but they were happy that it seemed like it was probably going to be a better fit here at the university 
of Nebraska. But when your family hasn't even moved up to a place that you've been at for five or six months, it's a little bit of a sign in itself, I think. Now, if you watch the Doc Talk Sportscast, uh, a podcast, I'm sorry, with Travis Justice, Rob Dadiska, okay, Travis talked about, and I have to go back and rewatch it again to make sure I get every specific detail right, but I think he mentioned there were two guys that immediately, after Trev Albers decided to go to AM and it was official, that texted him immediately, hey, what's going on? What's going on with that job? You know, and one of those guys was Troy Dan. That shows me that he had an immediate interest right out the gate. All right. Obviously, Troy was very interested in the Nebraska AD job from the get go is what that signals to me. Now, before Troy came to the podium, OK, Governor Pillen, a former Husker himself. All right. Spoke passionately about the program. And I quote, the best thing about Nebraska is the people end quote. Then they brought up our 17th athletic director. And ironically enough, this is Troy Dana's 17th year of being an athletic director. They brought Nebraska's 17th AD up to the podium, Troy Dannon, his wife, his daughter, and his son. They handed Troy the football jersey, I believe had the number 17 on it. His son, I believe had the number 24, and then a volleyball jersey for his daughter. Now, before I dive into what Troy had to say, my thoughts, recap, et cetera, my exact reaction. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the show is brought to you by DPS Concrete Construction. All right, they do a great job. They do great work. Jason Armstrong is a great employer. If you're looking, if this is what you do for a living and you're looking to have a great boss, dpsconstruction.net, go check them out. If you're looking to have great concrete work done, dpsconstruction.net, they will do a great job for you. And let them know Adam Carriker sent you their way. All right. Now, Troy believes everything is about people and about relationships. This is what he spoke about, <clears throat> excuse me, when he came to the podium. He thanked everyone at the University of Washington for his time there. Okay. And then Troy mentioned and thanked Dennis LeBlanc as well. <clears throat> excuse me. And he mentioned that even though Dennis wasn't the interim AT, AD for a long time, during that time, he was quite productive. He extended not one, but two basketball coaches' contracts. Okay, and Troy also thanked his family and mentioned the wild ride, Tulane to Washington to Nebraska, that he has taken his family on in the past year. If you've got a family, you got kids, you got a wife, you can only imagine what that was like. So he thanked them for being on this wild ride with him. Now, he, it was interesting because I know Tyler Kai. He's worked at the University of Nebraska for about three years. What I did not know was that he had previously worked for Troy Dan. OK, and he mentioned that Ky Tyler Kai, who had worked for him in the past, got a call to be a part of Nebraska athletics about three years ago. And Troy's advice to Tyler was to go take that job. How do you pass that up? Well, when the opportunity and the offer came along to be Nebraska's athletic director, OK, and that job became available. The offer was there. Troy wanted to follow his own previous advice. He called Nebraska the center of the athletic universe. OK. He grew up admiring Nebraska football, and he's excited about the up, upward trend of all Husker sports. He especially loves the common goals and alignment here at the University of Nebraska. All right. Now, he said the alignment at Nebraska is better than any place he's ever seen. Now, alignment is common in goals from the governor to the president, interim president at the moment, but from the president to everyone involved being on the same page at the top of the university. Okay. He says he called and spoke to Tom Osborne to understand how things have been built here, what has worked, what has not over the years. And yes, he used the C word, not that C word, chill out. The C word that some people have started to dread, but just because maybe it's been butchered in the past, it's still just as important, if not more so than it's ever been, especially in today's crazy landscape of college sports. The C word he used was culture culture. Okay. He wanted to learn the culture and he wants to instill a culture, learn that culture and keep that culture growing. Okay. And he wanted to learn what the expectations here at the university of Nebraska is slash are and help grow them. Now he promised that Nebraska will lead and he came home to win, came home to the Midwest, not just to come home, but he came home to the Midwest to win. Okay. He said, Nebraska will lead. We won't follow. He expressed how important winning is. Nebraska is a national leader, he said, because we've won. 
right? Now, it's amazing. I know Nebraska football specifically. All Husker sports are on the rise, and I think Nebraska football's future is really good. I really do. But if you name the top eight Blue Bloods, if you name the Blue Bloods of of, uh, college football programs across the country, there's usually about eight programs that are named. Nebraska is still one of them, which just shows you how people still view Nebraska, whether they want to admit it or not. And it would sure help if we start winning more games than we lose. But uh, topic for another day, as you know. Okay. But he did express how important winning is. And Nebraska is a national leader because we have one. All right. The number one thing in his mind, and he said it over and over, and he's going to say it over and over again. And in today's landscape, he's right. It's recruitment and retention of coaches and players. It's not just recruitment anymore. It's recruitment and retention. Players and coaches alike, okay, and he said you don't let good people get away. Now, his standard, all right, Nebraska Cornhusker Athletics will set the standard in everything we do. He said we're going to win. This is what he said. He said we're going to win. We're going to win Big Ten championships and national championships and do it with integrity, and then he wants student athletes to walk away when they're done for the next 40 years, be better for having been a student athlete at the University of Nebraska. He said, we will send everyone out of there, talking about here, a winner, because that's what the University of Nebraska is, a winner. So that's kind of the summation of what Troy Dannon had to say. My final thoughts are this. Like I said earlier, I get the feeling he genuinely is excited to be here, and and it's almost like Finally, I'm where I want to be is kind of the impression I get. He values people. He wants to recruit and retain athletes and coaches. He wants to be here and he has high expectations. That's for sure. I think he probably raised the level of expectations after his press conference today. Now, I got three questions for you fine folks at home. Number one, after hearing my thoughts, what's your biggest takeaway from Troy Dannon, Dannon's introductory press conference today. Number two, do you believe Troy Dannon will help turn Husker Athletics into even more of a winner? And number three, do you feel better about the leadership as an overall whole at the University of Nebraska now? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be a sponsor of this fine show, this is that time of the year where I hit businesses up. Now, go to send me a message through the contact info, and I do it that way because only serious inquiries please respond. Until next time, Husker Nation, go Big Red. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And always remember, to the